parametric orthotic and insole design is now possible in the latest version of Shoe Last Maker. What's unique about this approach to orthotic and insole design is that it is fully integrated with the parametric shoe last design. This is an advantage over many existing approaches as the geometry of the shoe last has a major impact on foot and orthotic insole interaction. A fully parametric approach to both the shoe last and the orthotic and insole design is more scientific and thereby has the potential to be superior. Before getting started with parametric orthotic and insole design, I do suggest first learning the basics of Shoe Last Maker. In order to get started with orthotic and insole design, which I'll simply refer to as insert design from uh, this point on, um, it's the same as with a Shoe Last. You're going to hit the, the build button, and here you get the build form, and you can choose the um, the last in uh, body and toe templates that you've uh, chosen previously. And now you're also going to choose an insert template. And now once you have all of those set, uh, one more option you definitely want to uh, set is under show allowances uh, you can choose the insert depth uh, slash room so this is both uh, essentially the insert the thickness of the orthotic or insole as well as uh, the uh, it also changes the amount of space within the shoe last that's designed to to allow for that uh, that insert depth so we're going to use uh, three millimeters and now you can hit the build button And it takes uh, it's a little bit longer to build here because uh, it's also designing the insert as well. And you can see, uh, in addition to all of the shoe last curves and surfaces, we have the insert curves. If you also want to see the uh, surfaces of the insert, uh, you can turn that on in options. So we will build insert top surface and then uh, hit the rebuild button. And there you can see uh, the insert surface. Note that um, I like to uh, use the rendered mode with uh, transparency for the last. That allows you to, to see the insert you're working on. Um, you can also design the, the body each time you update uh, by choosing this option, uh, build insert body. Hit the rebuild to have a look at what that looks like. And uh, this does take a little bit longer. There's a lot of offsetting and uh, Boolean intersection of surfaces and so on to be able to get that full body. Uh, but there it is. And uh, this is, of course, the full length uh, insert template. You can also um, get the three quarter length template in, uh, insert templates uh, one that's a shell and one that's uh, like a, a full body, uh, like this, that's just three quarter length rather than full length. Uh, but I, I prefer to just show the insert top surface uh, when doing design, uh, just so that things run a bit faster. So I'll rebuild that. And now you can see it's just the top surface there. Now editing is, is pretty much the same as with uh, the shoe last uh, parameters. You click the edit button and you can choose uh, whatever cross-section you want. I'll choose this one and it brings you to the cross-section view and you can change the parameters. Uh, note that these parameters are measured um, there are distances from the bottom edge um, on top of the base insert depth that was specified in the build form. So if you were actually to check the measurement from the edge it would be the insert depth specified which was three millimeters plus the eight millimeters here. So these are kind of just like uh, shape parameters that uh, built on top of the base insert depth. So we could change this up to 9, for instance. You can see the curve just adjust very slightly. And you can change the percentage parameters to kind of influence the shape of the um, orthotic or insert surface. And uh, so we'll go up to 40 here just to show you a very large change. And then when you're done with making your edits, uh, you hit the end edit button and you can see we've increased the height of the arch just slightly in that area 
change the shape of the orthotic surface a little bit. Um, you can also edit uh, this uh, central curve here, and that can uh, that tells you how much it deviates from the central axis, um, like the lowest point in the cross section, essentially. So that's another view you can edit those parameters from, and you can also edit uh, if you choose the heel cross section at the back here. Um, you can uh, change those parameters as well as the arch length for the orthotic because sometimes you might have a arch length that's a little different inside the insular orthotic than uh, well, the that of the shoe last. And this is um, these are parameters to change the twist angle if you're trying to do posting and so on. I'll get more into that in another post. So we have a three millimeter uh, base depth that we specified. That number can actually still be changed at this point. If you go into the adjust menu and you do the insert depth, you can change that up to uh, five Cisco six. So you can see the difference. Update that to six millimeters and then hit the rebuild button. And you can see we've increased this, this depth up quite a bit. Um, but if you're going to do that, you're also going to want to change the, the room for inserts in, within the shoe last, or otherwise the, the foot would be crammed in there. So you can also adjust the room for inserts within the shoe last. It specifies three right now. We'll change that up to six as well. Hit the rebuild. And so now the, the shoe last depth has been increased as well. You can uh, see those two changes. I'm just uh, undoing and then redoing. So here it is without that depth, increasing the insert depth, increasing the shoe last, uh, the room for inserts within the shoe last. Another adjustment uh, you can make is to the material thicknesses. So if you adjust uh, material thicknesses, it brings up material thicknesses form on the left side. Uh, these relate to the uh, insert uh, insert wall offset. That's when you build the 3D body, uh, full 3D body of the insert. Um, it has to be able to fit into the shoe last without uh, being uh, too, too much of a struggle to get it in. And also you don't want it floating around too much so that there's a little bit of an offset that's uh, uh, achieved there. Um, the top cover thickness, of course, if you're going to be doing boron or some other material uh, to cover the top of the insert, uh, this surface can be offset by that amount and that shows up when you build the actual body of the insert. Uh, and then when you are using a three quarter length template, you can uh, adjust the front edge thickness as well as the, um, the bevel or the distance over which that blending is done to bring down the front edge. Uh, and if you're working with a shell orthotic, then this specifies the thickness of the shell. And once you have uh, an orthotic shape uh, or insole shape that you're satisfied with, uh, and you say you just want to increase the uh, the height of the arch or decrease it or the length of the arch or decrease it, there's a um, within the adjust menu you can choose orthotic arch height and uh, length adjustment. And um, so say we'll say uh, zero now for changing the arch length, but say we just want to change the arch height, um, we can increase it by uh, say 30% and these are uh, I'll get more into this uh, next couple these next couple settings in another uh, post uh, on bespoke orthotic design for now we'll just use the defaults for this set of settings and the set of settings and then it automatically rebuilds and you can see we've greatly increased the arch height so that's just undoing so you can see what that looks like and then redoing so it's a much higher arch. The software can also be used for designing uh, entirely custom or bespoke orthotics. Uh, and that's, uh, I'll get more into that in another post, but as you can see, here's a, one of the orthotics designed for a particular foot. And once you've designed an orthotic that uh, you like, whether you've made it uh, for a bespoke for a particular customer or you've just uh, decided to create a master template, you can save it just as you can with shoe lasts and then uh, you'll be able to use it again um, in a, as a template for a future design session uh, in order to, s to save time in the design process. Uh, that's all for this video. 
And please subscribe if you would like to receive updates on uh, new videos I put out. And uh, thanks for watching.